Good day, folks. Welcome to the Joy of Shaving. This is episode number 42. Uh, today, I'm going to be shaving uh, using my one of my favorites. It's the Men's Grooming Thistle and Black Pepper. Now, this is the aftershave bomb, but I've also got a block of the uh, Thistle and Black Pepper uh, shave soap. So I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, I would like to use my shave scuttle, which is uh, down here in the sink uh, getting warm. But I would like to take the soap from out of here, and I, but I'd like to whip it up in my scuttle so that I can have a warm or a hot lather uh, shave the, uh, this morning. So uh, I haven't got a lot of growth. To, basically, I feel like sandpaper face uh, today. I shaved yesterday, but it's all sandpaper under here, and I don't like that. So we're going to get our shave going on. So first things first, I'm going to get my shave towel uh, here. We'll take my shave towel and we'll get it into the water. Uh, my shave brush is a Simpsons T3 today and it's soaking. I've got a uh, my Rockwell 6S uh, with a an Astra blade in it and it's on its third use according to my counting system here. Okay, shave towel ready to roll. Get the old scuttle out of the sink. There it is. So we've got our care package ready. I'm gonna go throw this into the microwave, gang, for about a minute and 25 seconds. Okay, gang, I'm back. There's my towel out of the old. Let's bring a little bit of this water out of it. And we'll just see. Any steam today? Oh yeah, we got some steam showing up. She's a hot. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, oh, oh, oh. I think, folks, I think I'm up to 311 subscribers, so welcome aboard, all of you. It's nice to have you. I notice a lot of guys in the shaving biz, they're hoping to get to that magic thousand subscriber mark because that's at the amount, uh, or that's the where you can start making money off of YouTube. But I've got bad news for you. Although you can start me, first of all, you need the uh, you need the thousand subscribers, but you also need X amount of watch time. I forget what it is, but you need quite a bit of uh, hours watched uh, before you qualify to put ads in your video so that you can earn a bit of revenue. But a thousand is just a starting point, folks. And to really make any money off of this, you need like fifty thousand subscribers at least. There's good and bad folks with this idea that we all want to get to a thousand so we can make money. Um, I consider this a labor of love and I don't, uh, here we go, Prasso pre-shave, I'll be yakking and working. I don't uh, have getting a thousand subscribers as my goal. I would like to get as many subscribers as possible, but uh, I'm not really looking forward to placing advertisements in my videos. Uh, so that you guys have to watch ads or anything. I really don't like that. I am uh, really don't like advertisements. And I mean, and if you really want to make money on YouTube, you've basically got to, you know, climb to the top of a mountain, light your hair on fire, and then jump off the top of the mountain like a big Roman candle or something. I mean, it's pretty crazy what you've got to do to uh, to get uh, a million or two million subscribers. You've really got to have something uh, going on. And usually it's a, <clears throat> a group of people making a, a pretty good quality production for YouTube. And it's a team of people and they're making money at it. And they've got 1.2 million subscribers. Now you're making money. 1.2 million subscribers on YouTube. But just because you got to a thousand, we're talking peanuts, guys, peanuts for money. So uh, I'm content. I'm content to have 999 subscribers and avoid all the advertising. And uh, see that all that yak, and I got my pre-shave on. Uh, Trafalgar T3 from Simpsons shave brush out. Now I'm going to. Normally I scoop out a little bit of soap, but this is a hard soap and you can't scoop it. So I'm just going to, well, hang on. Better get the other camera rolling. We're going to take this lather here and we're going to see if we can't get enough out of this. 
so that I can get a uh, good bowl ladder going. All right, folks, we'll see what that does first. I'm gonna dribble some water into the scuttle here and see if I can whip up a lather with this men's uh, thistle. This is thistle and black pepper shaving cream, folks. See if I can't get you a little closer. The old camera never likes to focus on it, but there we go. Because my hand's moving and a little bit of different stuff. We seems to throw the camera for a while, but Okay, add a little more water still. It's my first time trying this, so we'll have to see how it works out. Looks like we're going to get a decent enough lather here. We're going to add a little more water. More water still. That looks like about the right amount of water. I was lucky for most of my life I was self-employed, although you know what, I worked a lot of weekends now that I think about it. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people always seem to call me on Sunday. There, I just uh, added a little more water, you guys. If you notice, see me dribble it in there. Holy doodle. This Simpsons T3 brush is a good brush for making lathers, I find. Uh, it does not splay and press the, uh, push the lather out of the bowl like my, uh, Badger brush does. Okay, look at that lather, folks. We're getting some nice, thick, creamy-looking lather going. And I think, by Jove, I think we've got a fairly decent lather going today. All right, gang, we're going to call that good. We'll cut this camera off. There we go. I have got my Rockwell 6S soaking in the sink. It's got an Astro Blade on it on its third use, if I haven't said that already. Okay, well, it looks like we got a good lather whipped up here. It looks like this worked. Oh, it's warm, nice and warm. All right, Joe, we've done it. We've done it, lads. Okay, gang, here we go. That's number one going. I'm going to tell you, the old Astro Blade is feeling pretty good, gang. Uh, yeah, I mean, if... If this is a, if shave, if we're doing something like skydiving, well, I could see where it's possible to try and make money off of skydiving. You know, you might have something special going on skydiving. But we're already a small niche hobby. It's not many, there are already a very small percentage. First of all, you can eliminate most of the women. They're not going to watch the videos because they're not that much interested in watching men shave for the most part. So that leaves only the men population. And of the men population, 98% of the men out of 100 are using uh, disposable cartridge uh, razors. And that just leaves a very tiny uh, amount of men that are actually wet shaving and know what it is and know what it is. So uh, that... Uh, really limits uh, the ability of these types of channels to, to make money is very, very limiting because you're already dealing with a very small niche audience. And this, this, just, this type of video, folks, just does not lend itself to making money on YouTube. Um, uh, sporting events and, uh, you know, the Red Bulls uh, where they have the guys mountain biking down the side of a mountain and, uh, you know, all the Red Bull events, you know what I'm talking about. Things like that get funding and they get attention. Uh, but uh, men shaving is just a small niche hobby, guys. And uh, don't be surprised even if you make it to a thousand uh, subscribers. Don't be disappointed when you don't become a YouTube millionaire. 
Uh, YouTube can be like McDonald's. If you got on the bandwagon or on the ground floor of YouTube, there's a lot of people now that have made good money off of YouTube. But YouTube has changed and rechanged and then changed again the way they calculate uh, payouts. And uh, it's gotten to the point where now uh, only the well-established, uh, highly subscribed channels get funding and get uh, coverage. And the uh, lesser channels, uh, you, you know, get, uh, get the acid test put to them. They either get a lot of subscribers or they get put on the back burner. So most of our shaving videos, gang, end up on the back burner. Let's talk more shave, I know. So far, I'm very pleased with how this uh, Astro Blade is going, considering this has been used four times. It's got, uh, seems to have lots of shave left in it, fellas. Okay, that's pass one. A little rinse off the face. Get ready to throw some more lather up there. Grab a scoopful. Try to get it on my cheeks before it all falls into the water. My lava launching brush. No, I don't think I have as much soap on the brush as I normally uh, get with my soft shaving creams. But it's the nature of the beast, I think, guys. There we go. And of course, second pass is cross grain. I was up late last night uh, to the wee hours of the morning, so I said hello to Robert, because Robert's probably about 10 or 12 hours ahead of us in Croatia. My goodness. Well, so I spoke with Robert in Croatia. I was just getting ready to go to bed and Robert was uh, just getting up to get the kids off to school and whatnot, so... He was busy doing his morning time, morning routine, so we didn't have a lot of time to talk, but it was uh, good saying hi to you, Robert. We'll uh, chat again. There we go. Not a bad soap. There we go. Brush is getting soap all over me here. I'm going to get the old cloth out. All right. That is two passes in the books. Yeah, the odds on you becoming a YouTube millionaire from a shaving channel are slim. You know, maybe uh, a few people can make a few bucks out. Like, I'm not saying you can't make any money at it. I'm just saying to, to uh, you got to get like a million views to, to start making some serious coin uh, before you could think about uh, doing this as a solo career kind of thing. You've really got to uh, invest a lot of time, uh, money, and equipment into it usually before you and it takes it takes a lot of work and you could work at this for years and it just uh never get that many subscribers because of the type of uh a niche hobby that we're in here so anyways i've yammered on about that long enough we'll uh grab some more lather i'm just gonna whip up a little more in the bowl or in the scuttle fluff it up a little and there we go past three Get a little brush just to spray and doesn't like to, but a lot of things we don't like to do in life, but we do them, don't we? Such is the case with my shaving brush. It's a painter, not a splayer, but I'm forcing it to splay, darn it. Oh, uh, 
This will work just fine for our final pass. All right, gentlemen, let's do the back buffing. Always problematic jawline, gentlemen. Trouble area for a lot of men. Okay, well, let's just, uh, as Glenn would do from luxury shaving, we'll apply a little bit of this on and See how we feel. Very smooth. Even along the chin is good. All right, folks, well, I think that is where we're going to pull the plug today. I'll clean up and I'll be back in a minute. All right, gang, we've got the old face cleaned off. We're just going to go around with a block of alum now. It'll tell us how we did. Oh, it's almost nothing for feedback. It was a nice, smooth shave, that Rockwell 6S is a good shaver. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty much nothing down here, folks. All right, I'm going to dry off the alum block and give it a chance to uh, get to work on my face. This all dried up. Meticulous old me. Oh well, look after your shaving stuff and your shaving stuff will look after you. All right, here we go now, let's get that off. And now, since today has all been about the men's grooming from Scottish Fine Soaps, and this is their uh, aftershave bomb, the thistle and black pepper. It is a, again, it's that thistle and black pepper scent. If you like it, you'll love the bomb. Uh, it's pretty creamy. You don't need a lot of it. But it's very creamy, very creamy when you put it on. There's a beautiful scent to it. I really enjoy it. There we go. We'll wash off the hands like the surgeon that we should have been. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, I'm just gonna use the famous Scarlett O'Hara wicker fan to dry off that bomb on my face. Get the old aftershave bomb drying up. There we go, that's pretty much got it, I think. Yeah, I'm uh, very pleased with this scent. It reminds me of a different version, like Polo. It's very bold, like Polo, but it's very, uh, but it doesn't smell at all like Polo, so don't, uh, let's talk. There we go. Oh, yes. And that should ought to be plenty, folks, to get me through my day. So thanks for joining me on episode 42 of The Joy of Shaven. On Sunday, that'll be the next video, and that will be uh, episode 43. So thanks for watching, folks, and I'm going to go edit, the, uh, edit this video down, and we'll uh, get it up on the web. Bye for now, gang.